Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last couple of videos, I have been uh, showing you, you how to create a PDF file and how to insert some data like images, paragraphs or list or table into your PDF using your C-Sharp application and iText Sharp DLL. So in the last video, I have shown you how to insert a table inside your PDF using C sharp code and now in this video I will show you how to transfer your data grid values so for example I have this program and in my data grid view or table this one I want to transfer all these values including the header of the table in my PDF file okay so how can I do that I will show you in this video so this all data I will rip show in this PDF so let's see how will I do that first of all I will close the program and I I have this create PDF uh, button which I double click and this code I have been showing you in the last three or four videos to create a PDF so if you don't uh, know how I have written this code then watch uh, last three videos three or four videos and you will come to know what this code is and last time we have written the code for this table so I'm going to comment this code for just for the table so that it's easier to recognize which table I'm talking about so just I commented this table code and now I will uh, write the data grid view code in this uh, create PDF button click event okay so in here you need to write this code so what this code is first of all as uh, in previous video for defining the table just write pdf table table is equal to new pdf table and inside your brackets we defined the column number of columns in this bracket in the last video if you remember so in this video because we are transferring our data grid view that's why i have written data grid view which is the name of this data grid view so just copy this name from here for this data grid view and then dot column dot count so this is counting the column and placing it inside this bracket okay now we will add the header to the pdf table so this is the code for adding the header to the pdf so write for int i i or j whatever you like is equal to 0 and semicolon j is less than data grid view which is the name of your data grid view dot columns dot count semicolon j plus plus so if j is uh, less than column count then we will pass the header text of the data grid view inside this table cell so in the for loop write table which is this variable dot add cell and in the bracket new phrase as we have written last time also and in this bracket we are going to pass our header of the data grid view so write data grid view one which is the name of the data grid view dot columns and in the array 
pass this j variable dot header text this header text means the header of your table or the title of your table okay so this uh, loop will create the title of the table in the form of the table in the pdf and this will create a table header now uh, just for uh, the caution i am writing table dot header rows is equal to 1 so i am making sure that the header row is only uh, 1 yes that's why i have written this and then in the next for loop we are passing the values which are contained contained by the table okay so write for int i is equal to 0 semicolon in uh, i is less than data grid view 1 which is the name of the data grid view dot rows dot count semicolon i plus plus so this for loop is counting the rows and placing it into the loop and in the next loop for the for loop write for so there are two for loop one for loop and inside that there is an second for loop so this these two for loop will create a two dimensional array for our table cells right which we will transfer into the table so write second for loop and inside the second for loop declare int k is equal to 0 semicolon k is less than data grid view dot columns dot count and semicolon k plus plus so first we are taking the rows in this for loop and in the second loop we are taking the columns okay and then inside these two for loop give a this condition so write if the data grid view uh, in the array k comma i which are these k and i variable dot value is not is equal to null so if uh, the data grid will values are not null then we are passing these values into the cell of the pdf table so write table dot add cell and in the bracket write new phrase and once again in the bracket data grid view 1 which is the name of your data grid view and inside the array pass these k and i variable k for column for loop and i for row for loop dot value dot to string okay so this is the whole for loop for two dimensional array and in the next line we are just adding this table variable inside this document which we have created in the last two videos so this is the document variable if you remember from the last videos okay so i will just shrink this code so it will come in one screen and just if you want you can pause the video and you can just copy this code okay and now when we are going to run the program username and password okay so let's see first our text so this is our PDF which is generated earlier and it has old table which we have created in the last video but now we are transferring the new table so I'm just closing this PDF and now I will press load table so this will load my table here in the data grid view okay and now when I press this button this employee ID name surname and age and whole data of the this uh, table which has 14 rows 
will be transferred to the PDF so I will click create PDF and let's see once again in the PDF file which we have generated so this is the test PDF and double click it and you see a new table is created here which contains the same data as our data grid view okay so if you can match you will be able to match also like this okay so in this way you can transfer the values from data grid view to the PDF files so these are the values which I'm extracting from MySQL database in the data grid view so indirectly you have transferred the database values inside your PDF file and this will be helpful when you are uh, using this PDF to create the report or to show some reports so it will be very useful for that purpose and about this header column or header row you can change its font and the column size and everything which I have shown you in the last video so if you want to just highlight this row and these cells then you watch the last video I have shown you uh, in that video how to change the font and background color of the cell okay so I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now